Hi, Caleb from Brown Owls here, back at the 85 on 80 Brown Owls event, and I'm with Barkley from Pulsar. Barkley, thanks for coming out. Yeah, appreciate you having me. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I feel like you're here at a really good time because we actually just finished our thermal series featuring Pulsar yeah. on, on YouTube. And uh, so, yeah, just you have a lot more products here than we actually showcased in that. So sure. I'm just going to hand it over to you and let you tell us what, what's going on. Here. Yeah, no, absolutely. And thank you all again for having me on that. Sure. So a little bit about Pulsar itself is European made. We're the largest thermal manufacturer in the world. Um, you know, our goal is to make the most quality thermal imaging products out there in the market. Um, and we've been doing that for uh, well over 30 years now um, on that side. So to kind of go through the line itself, um, we do anything from thermal monoculars, thermal binos and thermal rifle scopes on that. You know, anything that retails anywhere between $1,000 to $800 on that side, various different resolutions, different features such as LR refs, different color palettes, anything of that such. So to kind of start off on it, you know, we'll start off with the rifle scope. So that's everybody is always interested on that side. So the first one I have here to highlight is the Thermion 2 LRF XQ50. So this is a 384 by 288 resolution. It is a three to 12 magnification. It's 50 millimeter objective lens. With all of our thermal rifle scopes and all of our products in general, um, across the board, they have anything from onboard recording through our Stream Vision app too. Um, and a cool feature on any of our thermal rifle scopes that have an LRF or integrated laser range finder is our new ballistics calculator app that we released about a year and a half, two years ago yeah. as well. So that is gonna be the first one there that retails about $3,500. The next step up is gonna be uh, the Thermion 60 line, which will be here. And this is the one I brought out being the Thermion 2 LRF XL 60. So this is the newest line we released at SHOT Show this year. The biggest upgrades that you're going to see between the units is going to be going from a 50 millimeter lens to a new 60 millimeter lens. The biggest upgrade to me is actually going to be in the back here with a new uh, 2560 by 2560 uh, circular ammo display. So that display just gets so much bigger that image and detail recognition of the thermal just pops out even more. So on the Thermion 60 LRS, we do three different models being the XP60, XG60, which are your 640 resolutions, one of three magnification, one of four. And then our most high-end thermal rifle scope is this guy right here being the Thermion 2 LRF XL60. That is a 1024 by 768 resolution with a two and a half to 20 magnification. So we do anything on our thermal rifle scopes from our Talion series that goes down to 2000 all the way up to our most high-end of the Thermion 2 LRF XL60. So the next kind of step into it is gonna be our thermal scanners. And the reason I kind of highlight these and wanna bring them out is the first thing people always wanna get into, you know, their first time buying a thermal is gonna be a thermal rifle scope, which is of course, you know, the way to go on that. But 90 to 95% of your hunt, either going from stand to stand or, you know, riding around on the side by side is gonna be scanning. So that's 90 to 95% of your hunt and you need a good scanner with that on yeah. that side. So the one you're holding there is gonna be the Telos line. So that's kind of our premier thermal monocular line. Anything from 384 to 640 resolutions, all the way up to 1024. Um, they also have two different variations in each of them, having an LRF that's gonna be on the bottom there, or we offer options without the integrated LRF as well. Any of these units have a detection range between 1,500 to 2,500 yards as well. So you're gonna be able to get out there a pretty good distance on oh, that. Oh yeah. Our most entry level line on the monocular side is gonna be the Axion XQ19, XQ30 Pro um, and XG30 Compact, different various resolutions on that from 384 to 640. With that, the design and kind of idea behind the Axions is a small, lightweight, compact unit you can put in your pocket, going from stand to stand, anything like that. So those are gonna be kind of our monocular side. Now our premium side of scanners is gonna be our thermal binos called the Merger line. We have the Merger LRF XP35 and then the most high-end thermal binos in the market being the Merger LRF XT50s. This is being a 1280 by 1024 resolution again, the highest out there. Oh, yeah. It's a two and a half to 20 magnification out there. Um, and that, de or that detection range is gonna be close to around 3000 yards. The XP35 LRFs are gonna have a 2500 yard detection range being a 640 resolution of a two to 16. Both mergers have an integrated LRF that gets out to 1100 yards out there. Um, there's also a new upgrade that just came out with a green color palette in there as well with a circular display that makes it super smooth on the eyes. One thing just being at night and one thing we're trying to focus on and people don't really think about whenever they're purchasing a thermal is eye fatigue and that smooth color palette. So integrating a green color palette, a little bit circular display really helps on the eyes on that side. So that's kind of the full line of the Pulsar and a few of the items I highlighted on there. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, and so really good run through there. And I'll say on these here, these, these ones that look like more traditional rifle scopes, yep. um, these do just take standard scope rings. Yep, correct, um, so it's a 30 millimeter tube there. Right, okay, so 30 millimeter tube. And then you also make some that are 
uh, like the the Italian that that we have that we showcase yep. has its own proprietary mount. Correct. Uh, so you could go either way with that. And then also not displayed here, but you do offer it um, the thermal clip-ons that mount in front of your yeah. standard rifle scope. Yeah, we do have two different options, that being the Krypton 2 XQ35 or yep. the Krypton 2 FXG50, that just being a 384, 640. So those will fit onto a regular daytime optic just as a clip-on uh, thermal. Um, and those will go from anywhere from a 24 to 40 millimeter objective lens that come with that attachment, or they come with a separate attachment to 40 to 50 millimeter. Objective. Yeah. So yeah, those are, those are pretty handy. I know we don't have it here, but you know, just kind of go through it real quick. Those are pretty handy. If you have a scope mounted, you don't want to take that scope off your rifle. Uh, they just clip onto your existing optic right. uh, with, with a little bit of setup. And then you did mention that ballistic calculator. Yeah. And uh, we actually went through that a little bit in our how to zero a thermal optic video. And I know there were a lot of acronyms and stuff as well thrown around here. So we did a video, our previous video, how to shop for thermal optics. Mm -hmm. uh, we kind of break that down a little bit to um, help you understand the, the basics of it. Um, and yeah, with that, I mean, that, that new uh, ballistic calculator yeah. app is, is super cool. Yeah, it's super, it, it's, it is super cool. And it's one of those that, you know, to be honest, I was kind of wondering myself, even worked for the company, of how well that would work. And yeah. the reviews that have come back and the accuracy of it, you know, going out to a thousand yards has been very spot on. And it's just a separate app called the Stream Vision uh, Ballistics 2 app that you just download separately. And that will just give you your holdover in every ballistics once you hit the LRF. And that's for all units going back to even eight years ago. Any uh, Pulsar thermal rifle scope has an LRF. It will have that ballistics drop so it's not just the new units but even going back with the updates oh, okay. it'll be able That's to cool. go in there as well yeah and kind of touching on these these smaller units here i actually keep one of these in my my hunting rig yeah yeah, yeah i do absolutely. and uh even when i'm not hunting with thermals like if me and my son are out hunting at you know daytime or late evening or whatever these are just super handy yeah. for identifying and that's stuff the, coming out the tree line. Yeah, and that's the thing on thermal scanners that I, you know, try and convey to anybody out there and show them the importance of what a great piece of hunting equipment this is. Of, of course, yeah. at nighttime hunting, it's great for that. But there's so many other, do, you know, movements and kind of deals that you can use with it of farming, you know, going and trying to check for cattle. You know, yep. one thing I, I heard a great pitch a long time ago of what happens to what hay it burns so you know i even had some farmers who even use that to scan for wet hay and stuff like that you know that investment of you know a couple thousand dollars right there being able to save that livestock anything like that it's oh, just yeah. an investment to protect that so there's just so many other uses on that side and why i kind of show the importance of not just thermal rifle scopes of course cool but sure. our full line of thermal monoculars and rifle scope or binos they have so many different purposes too yeah and like the thing we're trying to break here is you know when people hear thermals or thermal hunting or thermal scopes anything like that they immediately think nighttime yeah um but it all works in the daytime too right um but but yeah so i appreciate you taking us through yeah, it no, absolutely appreciate it. and um we'll be here for more 85 on 80 content and if you have any questions or comments like always feel free to post them down below thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time